I was asked by Ross Boyland what the most common injuries are for shuffling. Personally, I've had a few. Uh, not all necessarily entirely caused by shuffling as such, but I've had uh, my right knee occasionally, it feels like on the sides here, I don't know, ligaments or something, they get a bit sore if I'm shuffling for a very long time. I'm sure it does contribute to the pain. However, I do quite hard work lifting furniture and whatnot, so uh, that's probably part of the problem there too. Fat pants. I have uh, hurt myself twice simply because I was wearing fat pants. One time I was running to bubble as fast as I could this nightclub. And I stepped, like, these things have big leg sleeve things. And uh, as I was running, I stepped, I stepped on the right pants leg thing with my left foot. And as I took a step, my foot couldn't go anywhere and I just went flying forwards. I uh, got a nice old scratch on my knee. The pants are completely unscathed, surprisingly. Yes, when I moonwalk, I, you don't need to stand on the tips of your toes, but I just like to do it that way because it looks better. However, when you have, you know, 85 kilos standing on your big toe, yeah, you can, it, it can end up quite painful, especially if you step sideways or if you trip or something. It can, I've ended up with sore toes for a few days occasionally. Uh, I asked a question on my page, Big Milan, uh, on Facebook. Go and check it out. That's why it's there. Uh, I asked a question to get some feedback from you guys and uh, about your injuries. Uh, Jesse says, same thing, right knee from T-stepping for lengthy periods and ankle sometimes. Occasionally I stub my toe. Okay, the same story. Matthew Stenning. Uh, I'm sorry if I mispronounce any of these names. Matthew, most common injury for me would be cramp after a night's shuffling and one other thing of a more embarrassing nature, which he, I suppose, is too embarrassed to uh, share. So I don't know what that is. But as for cramps, personally, I used to get cramps really bad at the time of shuffling. So I'd start dancing and 10, 20, 30 minutes into it, I'd get really bad cramps on my side. And that kind of annoyed me because I want to dance. I don't want to have cramps. So I just ignored it. I, I ignored the cramps completely. I just kept dancing as if they weren't there. And after some time, the cramps stopped coming. And I haven't had a cramp in my side for a good 10 years or more. 12 maybe. So is that good or bad? I don't know. Matt Corby. Rolled ankle, groin muscle, smashing the toes and somehow pulled the muscle on my lower back this weekend and I asked him not all at the same time <laughs> it sounds like it's all this weekend but no thankfully not all at once yeah rolled ankle I guess there's a lot of ankle movements and stuff so you could step funny groin muscle again even with the sore ligaments it really helps if you have duct tape or gaffer tape on the bottom of your shoes because it makes them more slippery so less friction less force on your joints and muscles and I generally just about always also throw in talc powder talcum powder the baby powder on um, on the floor so that it's like dancing on ice it's brilliant a bit tricky it's funny it's like literally like dancing on ice so you've got to be a bit more careful with your balance but it's really easy on your joints and everything like that as for the lower back, uh, pulling pulling muscle is quite energetic, so who knows what it did. Uh, Big Millen, who's this guy? And there was one other time actually with fat pants. I was at Infected, I'm dancing, fat pants. I think my foot went inside the other one, so as I stepped it just kind of <laughs> fell on my back, like literally just flat on my back. Started laughing so hard. I didn't feel the pain because I guess all the adrenaline from dancing. A couple of people just gave me, you know, a hand and I just grabbed on, jumped back up and started dancing again, kept going, didn't actually get injured, but fat pants are so dangerous. Plus, I don't really like them because they hide your feet and shuffling is all footwork. Beside the point, they're great and I do have a pair and I wear them occasionally, but yeah, they're... <laughs> ah, Michael, a uh, friend of mine. The inside of my knee from a twisting motion also 
pretty easy to hurt your groin in a club when the floor gets some liquid on it. Oh yeah. Never. Oh, people do this. When you put baby powder on there, baby powder is dry and it stays dry and it's dry lubricant. Uh, a lot of times in industry they use lead also and things like that. Lubricants that just help things slide over because it's just predictable, it's good, it's great. Depending on what else is on the floor, there might be a bit with some sticky bit with some beer or whatever on it. And when you put water on that, that's going to be a completely different amount of traction from just a completely clean floor with water on it. So you can unpredictably just have your foot slide out because it's just a little bit more slippery on that side than on this side when it's all wet. So don't, don't, for fuck's sake, don't throw water or, or beer in, on the ground. Oh wow, uh, Marcin Murawski or something, I think Polish I'd say or something. Uh, nothing too crazy but I rolled my ankle on a misstep. Also, sore toes for a day or two. Again, same thing with me. The toes, I guess a few people are saying that. Uh, Jonathan Salgado. Maybe it's not a shuffling injury as it's been a problem that started because I used to pull my left hamstring during soccer a few years ago. But trying to do the running man makes it cramp up or it feels like it's going to snap too much scar tissue. Hey, what's up, Keith? Oh, I'll throw in a clip of my cat. This is a few weeks ago when I was doing paperwork on the floor. Right now I have a desk. I made this desk myself with this big long surface and the, and the tray that slides out is also like 1.8 meters long. It's great. But I was working on the floor and Chi Chi was just sitting on my knee for an hour or two just sitting there chilling. So that's Chi Chi sitting on my knee. I suppose that's what I'll put in there. Okay, so back to the point. Uh, not a shuffling injury, but I guess shuffling can make previous injuries come up again. Yes, as I said with my work as well, I think that's not really all that good for the joints in the long run either. So, it, you know, other injuries and other things you do, activities, if you're rollerblading or skateboarding or BMXing and that sort of thing and constantly falling on your knees, that can't be good for dancing either. It's going to all play into it. Okay, George Migdakis. It's not only from shuffling. I boogie cloud nine style two. Actually, I don't know. I gotta go to cloud now. Cloud nine. I heard it's like super trashy, so I gotta check it out. But I've had pretty severe shin splints for almost a year now. Shin splints are usually caused from overworking the muscle and not giving it enough time to recover or repair. Painful shit, but I can't help but dance. Yeah, oh, you gotta dance. Like I said with the cramp, just keep going. Don't stop dancing, no matter what. Deal with the pain. Is that bone pain or ligament? I'm not going to read all this right now. One of you guys tell me. Is that muscle like on the front of your shin or, or your actual bone hurting or what? Because the name shin splints sounds like it's splint a ring as in breaking. I don't know. Maxim Helen uh, always fuck my shins by kicking them when <laughs> hacking. See? Never hack. You should just not hack because that's ridiculous. Uh, shuffling just hurts my knees after a while and usually gives me fucked cramps when I try sleep. Okay, so we've got several people saying their knees get injured, myself included, toes, um, stepping on things wrong, kicking things wrong, shins, if you kick your shins, you silly dude, rolled ankles, <laughs> basically don't ever shuffle if you don't want to injure yourself. But on the positive side, being active does lead to a healthier body, so whilst being active will cause injuries, I mean you're not gonna you're not gonna kick yourself in the shin if you're sitting on the couch all day long. Um, but sitting on the couch all day long you'll die from I don't know, diabetes or whatever. I'd say definitely dance. I mean the 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 benefits are just so much greater than the knees. Um, Sorry about the length of video, but I just wanted to list a bunch of injuries. Cat, what's up? You want to say bye? Hello. So, she is now 12 and a half weeks old, I believe, or roughly. Chi Chi, what's up? What's up? <laughs> All right. Um, See you later guys and I'll have some shuffle videos up because I, I didn't have a desk so I couldn't edit videos and now that 
I'm set up again, uh, much like today, I'll be posting more videos up soon. And make sure to go to Big Melon's Facebook page and like that because, like, he wants to interact with you guys and stuff much like today and all that, yeah.